I'm Tori, and I'll be your fool for today. I'm Zach, and I'm the tool. Which is pretty on brand for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, Zach, my goodness, what are we doing to this lovely <laughs> steed today? I am horse, so pretty oh. close. Uh, today we're going to be using chain tools, master links, and lubing the chain. So just some basics. Pretty basics, yeah. So Zach, to get started, what tools are we going to need? Awesome. So we're going to need two tools today. One of them is going to be a chain breaker or a chain tool. So this one right here is going to be our Park Tool CT-3.2. There's a lot of companies that make these from Wolf Tooth, Lazine, Park Tool, Pedro's, just to name a few. Um, they all have the same basic design. They're just pushing the chain pins out of the actual chain. Um, very simple. The next tool that we're going to be using is a set of master link pliers. So these are going to be the ones we're using today are the Park Tool MLP 1.2s. So the nice feature about these is that they can be both used to remove and reinstall master links. So what's our first step? So because we busted our chain, the first step we want to do is make sure we don't have any other damaged links hiding in the chain anywhere. So let's go ahead and kind of look at both sides, make sure we don't have any damage kind of anywhere. That side's looking pretty good. She looks clean, Captain. So look at this side. Oh yeah, see we definitely got some bent links here. So That's looks like, yeah, this first one right here is definitely pretty bent. Bent, and the second one also has some pretty decent bends in it too. So we're gonna cut right behind that one. Okay. So here? Yeah, we're gonna cut that cool. in. Quick disclaimer. When you do remove a broken or busted link from your chain, you are making the overall length shorter. Drivetrain systems are designed to use a very specific chain length in order to function properly and be safe to use. Variations in the chain length can make the derailleur unsafe to use. It is possible that this can be adjusted out by using the B-tension screw. We will cover an adjustment like this in a later video. It is also possible that the chain is simply too short for the derailleur to shift into the easiest cog. So it is best to try and avoid this gear if possible. Awesome, now we've removed the busted links, we're ready to reconnect using the master link. Okay Zach, so looks like the boo-boo is gone. The boo-boo has been removed, so our next step is going to be uh, adding the master links and connecting them to put the chain back together. So we can go ahead and push one side of the master link through the chain. Now you're ready to go ahead and reconnect. Go ahead and compress it. No. There you go. Cool. So if you're on the trail and you don't have a set of master link tools to either remove or install your master links, yeah. the next thing you can do is actually rotate the master link all the way up until you get to the top here. Bring and it you, around town. Around town, just like SpongeBob said. Going on in a little adventure. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him go. Cool. Shows are set up. And you can actually use downward pedal pressure. So you might want to go ahead and hold the wheel, and I can push force on the pedal. Go ahead and snap those into place while you're out on the trail. All right, now that we've got our master link installed on here, we can go ahead and just rotate the cranks backwards and make sure we don't have any other problem areas in our chain. You'll see this primarily because the chain will want to start to jump either here, on the cogs over here, or on the chain rings up front. I would say it's smooth back. sailing. Yeah, it looks like we're all good. All right. Now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and loop our chain. Now that we got the bike in the stand, we can go ahead and start rotating the crank backwards and using our rag to wipe off most of the dirt and grime that's going to be built up on the chain already. We want to make sure that the chain is clean when we do this because applying lube onto a dirty chain, the lube is pretty much just going to stick to the dirt and not really get into where we need to go. Cool. After the chain is all wiped off, you can go ahead and start applying lube. Um, you can go ahead and just want to go all the way like once around the entire chain. You don't need to go several times around. Preferably you'd like to do this when the bike is shifted into the smallest cog. This is going to prevent the amount of lube that gets all over your cassette. And if you can, apply it kind of at the bottom of the, like when the, at the bottom of the chain. That's going to minimize a lot of the lube getting inside the hub area as well. So you want to try and make sure it gets localized on the chain only. So after you got a good amount of coating on there, yeah, it's a good idea to just go ahead and just run the cranks back. Um, it'll start to bring a lot of that lube kind of into the chain rollers and get it really in there good. Ideally, you'd want to let the chain sit for several minutes to kind of get a lot of that lube built up inside there. So at this time, you can go ahead and kind of use your rag and kind of take a lot of that excess lube off the chain. So same process we initially started with, just go ahead and use that rag and wipe a lot of that excess off. After you do 
do that. Uh, you're ready pretty much to go riding. You want to make sure you didn't get any lube on the rear brake or anything like that. So as long as it's kind of coated all over the chain, you're all good. Thank you guys for joining us for another week of Fools with Tools. If you guys want a more detailed list of the chaos that is Fools with Tools about exactly what we did, like actually written out instructions, a list of items and tools that we used, along with where you can get them, like if we have them in the shop, um, stuff like that, that'll all be on our blog on thepathbikeshop.com. So feel free to check that out if you want, you know, this but like round two. So until next time, I'm Tori, and I'm your fool. I'm Zach, and I'm the tool. Goodbye! Toodles!